Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie, your intuitive reader, and today we are going to be talking about the beautiful, the lovely, the Mintakins. So again, this is going to be an all audio clip, so feel free to listen to it and not have to look at the screen. So before we get started, if you are interested in a personal reading, healing sessions, guided meditations, or any crystals, please feel free to look at the description box below and find the link to my Etsy shop. So let's get into it. So the Mintakins are definitely not as talked about as some of the other star being types we've previously discussed, yet they should be. So let's talk a little bit about their background. So Mintaka is actually one of three stars in Orion's belt. Now, there is said to be a planet surrounding the star of Mintaka that is very watery, almost 100% water, a lot of water. Um, There is, to my understanding, land as well, but it really primarily is a water planet. Now, what makes Mintaka so special is well many things. The, the, the first thing is that the water is so pristine, okay? Now keep in mind that this information that I'm gonna give you has been collected usually via my meditations and downloads I get from my guides, but also information that I've heard from other people as well. Um, one thing that I've seen is that the water is so pristine. The water is so clear. Now, there are some places on Earth where we can see almost this crystal clear water. It is like that only 10 times better, okay? And their water is different than ours in the sense that it has healing properties. Their water is said to heal physically, mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually. Now, um, who lives on this planet surrounding Mintaka are dolphins, whales, other sea life, but these are higher dimensional and higher vibrational beings. So as we know, dolphins right here on Earth are very intelligent, but these dolphins even more so, and I have found that these dolphins actually communicate telepathically. I did a guided meditation for one of my personal clients, and what I saw through this was that we as humans can actually place our hand on a higher vibrational dolphin and that dolphin's thoughts can go directly to ours and vice versa. Um, Now also what is said to live there, I should say who is said to live there is mermaids or mer people. Okay so they look very human but they look like a mermaid. I think you know when we when we think about mermaids like Ariel and things like that I don't think it's exactly like that. I think they look still a little more for lack of a better word, alien-esque than that. I don't like using that word, so I'm going to say otherworldly than that. They're still humanoid partially, but then have that, you know, fish, fish-like tail. And they breathe water, but they also breathe air because I have been shown that they do come out into coves and things like that. Now, as I said, they have these very, very amazing properties of water there like i said this water can heal so they actually have these coves that people can come up into other mintakins but also beings from other star systems even humans we can come up and they can heal us in many ways and they do that through the power of the water but also through the power of of uh, chance and magic and ceremony Now, also, the way I see it is a lot of their cities and things, their actual cities that exist under the water. And to me, these cities, they they have kind of ancient Roman architecture. That's the way I see them. They have buildings and, um, you know, accommodations for for the beings and also schools and other other things kind of similar to earth in that sense not the same as earth of course but um they do have like cities now let's see if there's anything else i have some notes here yes okay so a lot of 
people who are going to resonate as a Mintaken star seed, okay? Now keep in mind that we have lived many lifetimes in many star systems. So if you feel connected to Mintaka, most likely you're going to be very connected to ocean life, okay? So to dolphins and sea turtles, um, all different types of ocean life and plants. Um, also going to be very connected to water, water in the sense of lakes, rivers, oceans, rain, taking baths, you know, things like that. And also you might have been very connected to mermaids growing up. Now also people that have lived many lifetimes um, in Mintaka, or the, we should say the planet surrounding Mintaka, right? Because Mintaka is the star. Um, they're said to be quite sensitive, quite intuitive, quite emotional and very connected to the divine feminine as well. So if you resonate with that, you might want to look further into Mintaka. So I know this was a very short little chat, but I thought I would give you guys a little bit of insight. Um, and then I hope this helps you and you can further go on your spiritual journeys, find out through meditation and whatnot more about this beautiful, beautiful place. Okay. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.